student leaders are uh, in retreat in back uh, alleyways. Can we stop? Who went for me? One thing I think we have to understand about Haiti, the way the government functions, uh, they have what's called uh, G9, the G9. And in certain sections of Port-au-Prince, if you're from Cité Soleil, Solino, Cité Militaire, um, they don't let you leave your neighborhood to even join a demonstration. I think the best, uh, we still see the students in retreat. The best example I can give is in the Bronx, if you're from the South Bronx, gangs lock down the entire neighborhood. Gangs that are associated with Jovenel Moise, the president, the dictator, who's not uh, respecting the constitutional mandate. So you think crazy mobilization, they just completely broke up the, the demonstration. Um, we can string together all the footage of the demonstration, completely unprovoked. Student leaders, youth leaders, uh, women leaders, uh, rah rah, uh, all of the l'esprit uh, voodooisanio, all of the spiritual traditions of, of Haiti. Everyone marching peacefully. Police come, tear gas everywhere, live ammunition everywhere. So even trying to get a movement off of the ground. You can't get people from the South Bronx, Tremont Ave, Fordham, Fordham Road. Inside the neighborhoods are locked down by gangs. Où m'est passé oui? On se tient à la télévision avec nous. So if those uh, leaders from those neighborhoods, particularly Cité Soleil, Kafu, if those leaders even try to come to the demonstrations, they're kidnapped, they're killed. So yesterday, when we finished uh, late Sunday afternoon, they kidnapped the student la leader, who's known popularly as Monsieur Rile, T. Nick. So today was to defend uh, T. Nick and the police before it could become even the massive mobilization that it was going to become here in Canapé Ver. The police uh, broke it up again.